Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and it has been a long time since I have done a walk and talk. What happened? Well, for one thing, I felt like I was saying the same thing over and over again. And the other thing was that life got a lot more dense and real. And I was reflecting on this today because I still believe that greater consciousness is coming into form and that we are all evolving so that everything is actually going for the better. But it certainly doesn't seem that way and not only reflected in all the craziness in the world, but also, you know, in everybody's personal lives it certainly seems like things are getting more and more intense. So what is really going on? And here's a couple of different analogies. The first one is that I really do believe that there's helicopters going to the military base. No, it's a train. I was gonna to try to do this without editing. So here's a way to think of it. If more light is coming into the world, it's illuminating the darkness. It shows where you haven't dusted if you turn on the lights in your house. And the people who are comfortable with sitting in the dark are having the most difficult time because you know the light hurts their eyes. And that's why they're getting louder and louder and they're trying to drag the rest of humanity back into darkness, which ultimately isn't gonna happen because evolution doesn't go backwards. But it also is what's happening is that we're all getting more and more sensitive and the noise is getting louder. Imagine living in this beautiful waterfront area with these magnificent views and having the train go by every hour. It's the light is us as greater consciousness and really it is us as greater consciousness coming more into physical form, into the density and so we're actually feeling things more. We're not only feeling our own pain, we're feeling the collective pain. It's hard to discern the difference. We're certainly not trained to discern the difference. And um, it is an opportunity to really appreciate the beauty in this world. once you get past all the noise. So, if at all possible, I highly recommend getting somewhere in nature. And honestly, even in the heart of the city, there are parks. Because how else are we all going to be able to continue to evolve, which is bringing us more into physical form, into our bodies, which is ultimately a healing. When you're really still and present, pain disappears. And it brings everything into perspective because honestly, as consciousness, you are infinite and you transcend time and space. And this lifetime and all its details happen in the blink of an eye to consciousness. So enjoy it while you can. 
you like this video, please like it and share it. If you want to know more about me, my website is joan-newcomb.com. You can subscribe to these videos for more. And uh, below I will have links to my blog, which is also not only on Blogger, but also on Medium. And more information will be coming soon enough. See you in the next video.